Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Man Who Killed Hitler and Then Bigfoot. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, you, you're watching it, so uh, you want to know more about it. So, came on DirecTV, and I thought, what is this? And it stars Sam Elliott. Ron Livingston's in it, you know, so... Yeah, anything with Sam Elliott I like, and uh, evidently he is uh, a World War II veteran who ended up um, secretly killing or somehow killed Hitler, and then he goes off on his own for a while, but then they come back and ask him to hunt for Bigfoot so that uh, Bigfoot has some kind of disease that will wipe out the population or something like that. That's what I understand from this. So I didn't watch any trailers. That's all I know right now. Um, and so it's an interesting title, to say the least, 5.7 on IMDb. 936 people, so we'll be in the 937th to rate it. We'll check it out and see what it's about. I'll check in from time to time and give you a real update. Hopefully it's good. Maybe it's, uh, I have low expectations, an hour and 37 minutes, but we'll see where it goes from here. So stick around. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. We're already at the credits of The Man Who Shot Hitler and Then Killed Bigfoot. Um, no check-ins on this one because it really, what I told you in the beginning, really held true for most of the movie. It's really what it's about. Um, and it, I don't know, it's a weird movie for me. So, I'm not even sure why this big, Bigfoot piece is in it. It's not needed. So for the first 40 to 50 minutes, it's all about developing Calvin Barr, who is played by Sam Elliott as the war hero. As suggested by the title, he shoots Hitler. So it's showing him in present time, um, you know, where he lives, what he does, going to the bar, whatever. Um, and then it shows a lot of flashbacks on not only how he ended up killing Hitler, um, but also, you know, there's a love interest there. So there's a romance developing in the, back in the wartime. Um, and, you know, and, and then up in the front or up in present time, you know, his brother's there and things like that. So there's a little bit of, a lot of development on this character. Um, some things that they, they truly miss, I mean, and this isn't going to spoil it, I don't think, maybe you'll see it some way different, but the way that it seems like he just, like, walks in and shoots Hitler, like, like he wasn't undercover or anything like that, it's just the poor, they missed some spots there that I thought that they could elaborate on, on how he got, was able to get an audience with Hitler and shoot him, so that's not there, and there's just all these weird things, there's a portion he's working, meeting with Russians, and he, there's a shave scene, where he's going to shave him, prior to going to kill this. And there's this whole dialogue or scene between the two of them about, you know, getting cut while shaving is a good omen, whereas if you get a perfect shave, it's a bad omen, you'll be cursed, all this kind of stuff. And I kind of think I know what they're talking about. They're saying he's going to be cursed. I don't know. It just seems really odd, that whole piece there. So that was... And then, now let's fast forward. We're at the 50-minute mark, whatever. And we've seen now this love interest develop in a backstory. We know how he's killed Hitler. And CI, or FBI knocks on his door, and now they want him to go chase this Bigfoot. And the first scene, I mean, he goes into it. Bigfoot is also contaminated with some kind of disease that's going to kill off everybody. That's why they want him to do it. So they take him into, you know, like a, you know, like in, in Contagion movie, like where they all have the suits on and everything like that. But evidently he's immune to the disease that's going on. Um, so he doesn't need to wear anything, whatever. Takes a rifle and a knife, and he goes into the, the ring of fire where they have this thing trapped in the ring of fire. 50 mile radius, he's going to track it and kill it. He's the only man, there's three people who could do it, he's the only one left that can do it. Um, and the first scene, once he leaves the tent, is he's already shooting him. So there's no buildup on like him tracking him and, and stuff like that. They're, they show a little bit more after that. The very first scene, they, they have him. But that whole sequence is not needed. I was waiting for it to pop up at the end, excuse me, <coughs> to tell me it was based on a true story. I don't know why they did that. They had enough there to just say, hey, this is the guy who killed Hitler, and here's everything <coughs> that happened in his life because of it. So the love interest, his, um, sorry, his brother, all that kind of stuff, you know, you know, and it shows the impacts of war on a person and, and, and killing somebody and how that um, affects you emotionally and all that kind of stuff. That's all kind of laid out in there. Um, 
but they don't they don't bring any of that really to a resolve. So what happened to his love interest? A slight mention of that. Um, she in the end she starts telling this story about a boy in her class, which has no bearing on anything. Like I'm like, okay, this is going to be the moral of this whole story, and it's not. It's just like they let's try this little story and see what it does. And they never took it back out, or they never rewrote that story. It's weird, like she, uh, without a, you know, she goes into about this little boy who's playing war and falls out of a tree, got a scratch it on his head. So, what does that mean? She's like, I'm not even sure what he was trying to tell me. Well, why did you put it in the movie? I don't get it. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I, I like Sam Elliott, did a great job. I liked how he acted. He was, you know, the whole thing, it's very slow moving. Um, I felt like the whole time I was like, man, this is dragging on and on as they're developing him. And then, like like I said, the, the Sasquatch piece is very small and unnecessary. I don't understand why they did that. Um, and then they, they threw in this, this mystery that, you know, there's absolutely no answer to the one piece of this um, that all comes out. And I don't want to even lead you down that path because I don't want to spoil it for you, but there is this, there, oh, leave it up to your imagination maybe or whatever. I mean, you can guess what it is when you watch the film, but they don't answer that for you. They do a poor job of the love relationship and circling back on that one. Um, and they just throw in, it's like, hey, there's not enough film here for a full movie if we just stick on the Hitler story. So let's throw in a Sasquatch story. Unless there's some hidden meaning that I completely missed. That was crazy. Um, so I do think if you've watched me this far and you're that interested and you like Sam Elliott, check this movie out very low low expectations but it's so strange it's like a car accident where you can't take your eyes away from it you know you always want to see slow down and look at it that's what i relate this to because i don't get it that's it i'm gonna end it right there i don't want to be too long i don't want to do another one minute review of it maybe i will i don't know um check it out love to hear your comments um thanks for tuning in kimmel's irish pub